August 2nd, the second work day of the week that we should call a Monday, the day of the moon, or some call it otherwise. Well, brethren, let's get right on over into the Lord's Care Ministry, our daily walk with Jesus, day 213 of the year 2010. Jesus tells the parable of the unforgiving debtor. Brethren, I suggest you write these chapter and verses down so that you can go back and study them at your own leisure, at your own time, and get much more out of it than we can give you in the time we've given here. Brethren, I suggest you use the pause button down on the bottom down here in the corner so that you can start and stop this lecture at your own leisure so that you can find the place in your Bible and read along with us. Well, with that, brethren, let's get over to Jesus Tells the Parable of the Unforgiving Debtor. And to do that, we'll go to Matthew chapter 21. Pardon me, Matthew chapter 18, verses 21 through 22. Then Peter came to him and asked, Sir, how often should we forgive a brother who sins against me? Seven times? No, Jesus replied. Seventy times seven. The rabbis taught that the people should give, forgive those who offend them, but only three times. Peter, trying to be especially generous, asked Jesus, if seven, that's the perfect number, was enough times to forgive someone. Forgiven. When Jesus explained that we should forgive others seventy times seven, he meant that we should not even keep track of how many times we forgive someone. We should always forgive those who truly repent, no matter how many times they ask. As Christians, we should forgive as we have been forgiven. True forgiveness means we treat the one we have forgiven as we would want to be treated. As we understand God's mercy, we will want to be like him. Having received forgiveness, we will, pa will pass it on to others. Is there someone you say you have forgiven, but who still needs your kindness? Our need for daily prayer. Help me, O oh merciful high priest, to pray for those who have met with accident and sorrow, for those who are passing through the fire that they may not be burned, for those who are waiting in deep waters that they might not be swept down, for those who are in the midst of their enemies that they may not be overpowered, for those who are lonely and desolate and forlorn that they may not lose heart. Faith is a gift that grows as we use it, and you hold fast to my name. I have trusted in thy mercy. My heart shall rejoice in thy salvation. I will sing unto the Lord because he has dwelt bondifully with me. Your daily walk on that narrow path will bring you eternal life with the Father and the Son. Forgive them, O oh my Father. Luke chapter 23 and verse 34 reads, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Brethren, in God's word only do we trust. Never in the tradition of men. Beware the tradition of men that make void the word of God. Now some churches say you just forgive, forgive, forgive. Christ says to forget about how many times you forgive. Have it in your heart to forgive someone. 
of their trespasses against you. Do you do that? Do you remember all the trespasses that somebody's pulled against you? If so, you haven't forgiven them yet. Forget that. Forgive them fully. Brethren, do you want to walk on that narrow path that leads to eternal salvation? Then get down on your knees and repent. Ask the Father for forgiveness for you for trespassing against Him, for following the traditions of men and leaving His out completely. And that includes His Sabbaths and His holy days. And everything else? Do you steal? Are you a murderer? First John 2.10 says, If you break even one of the least commandments, then you broke them all. Well, on your knees, ask the Father again for forgiveness for not following His commandments. Ask Him to let you have the wisdom, the knowledge, and the understanding of the letter He sent to you, and that is found in your own Bible. Well, brethren, with that, we're going to close for today. You all have a great and wonderful day. I know I will. God willing, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.